For today's quiz, we want you to use this computer-generated code, 1 through 8, and see if you can fill the rest of the table. That's our quiz. Let me hold this up, and I'll read it. It says, use the information given in the table below from 1 through 8 to fill in the missing blanks for 9 through 15. As always, write all over the page. Give whatever thoughts that you have, and then list your confidence below. Typical student responses vary greatly. Some will just be perplexed, and they'll say, well, this doesn't make any, any sense. Look, three has two dots, four has one, five has two dots again. This doesn't make any sense. So uh, you're going to get a lot of that. Others will pick up on this. And remember, this is supposed to be fun. So whatever hints that you need to give for your students to start thinking about these patterns, it's good for the brain. So um, just ask them questions. Say, well, is there a rule that you can come up with number one? Is there a rule that you can come up for the number two? And how would you possibly get three? So there's going to be a wide variety of responses here. As a teacher, make sure you encourage your students enough to keep them going. Once they see it, they'll get it and they'll probably uh, be rather proud of themselves. But uh, give them just enough where they can get the rest uh, so they'll be successful. If you have a large table on the board, it's nice to get dialogue going with your students. Have them come up one at a time and see if they can explain their rules. First student might say, look, I've got one and then I've got two, and then one plus two equals three. So they're going to put both of these. So that's a step forward. But then they'll say, but this one doesn't make sense because this should also be three. Another student might then come up and say, no, 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 we already have three here. So we have to have a way of showing four. So four would be this next unused block. So maybe we fill in the blocks before we move on. So... Uh, that seems to work, and then we go to five, but five seems back to the addition, where we have a four plus a one, and then we'd have four plus the two, and then we'd have four plus our three again, seven, and they can start building on this. And once again, they might say, well, look, once we're all filled up, we have to go down to another one. So they really have some great thinking here. Just keep encouraging them. All right, the students basically have this now. Uh, let them come up one at a time. They'll be very excited to fill in these dots. They can say, well, look, you can see we have some kind of addition rule here. This next one is certainly going to end up being 8. And then we just simply add one more to it. So our 9 is going to be the 8. plus one, and that would give us nine. And then 10, we'd have our eight, but we needed to add two to it. So I can end up saying, well, uh, two was in this block right here. So I'll simply put that on here like this and add that on. And 11 would of course be our eight again. And then I need to add three. And three, if you recall, was going to be both of these. So I can end up putting one up here. And one here. And I'll finish the rest off very quickly.
Okay, there's our solution, and uh, it's a neat pattern once you get it. Uh, you might be wondering why we have a 16 here and why we have these other blanks. Well, we're going to take this a little bit further, but uh, for now we'll call this one our quiz, and hopefully your students enjoyed cracking the computer code.